Karen, this was Hyoju Kim on the sixth. A nice little upslope there at the front. Doesn't have an awful lot of green to use, but takes advantage of that. Aileen Kim, another major champion like Hyoju Kim. This is at the seventh. You're going to miss some greens this week. That's just a given with the gusty wind. Here at 10 and 11, area Jutanagarn at the ninth. Tough hole this ninth, plays just under 200 yards. So she's going with an eight iron. Has to keep this from ballooning. Trying to control the trajectory. That went went high. It's got a good line. Great line. And that'll be a tap in birdie for Megan Kang. After a disappointing wedge shot in, this one a little uphill, and believe it or not, looks like it goes a little right. And a green has already missed hers, but Lopez did not. That is a nice start to your afternoon at Hawaka Lake. But it's kind of making a little bit of a mess of the first. Top quality shot there, staying just a little right of the flag. Par three fourth, Nasa Hataoka, who was to play with Lydia Ko and Megan Kang, but moved back to join Ataya Titikun. And nearly holds her tee shot. She'll have that for birdie. No, made even tougher with the strong wind helping Aaron right to left. Here. Here. It's a pretty good shot from there, actually. Don't see many balls end up between the whole location and that side of the green. Vivian Ho, the rookie, with her sister Yusan. And how about this start to the second round for Vivian, who last year was runner up at the U.S. Amateur at Westchester. Second shot for Gabby Lopez. Just a lengthy pitch shot trying to spin it. It's a bad angle from there. Oh, my goodness. That was a foot from being <laughs> down the slope, and now it's almost a tap in. It was good to get that little hop forward. The chipping is what's holding her back because the putting's doing all right. That up in the wind a little bit, trying to bring it back toward the flag stick. Shot. Second shot at seven, our first look at this par four. Oh, it's way up into the air. And brings it down softly. That's a beautiful shot. Back at five, Lydia Coe's third shot. A little bit of better angle, but just a tough little 64-yard shot downwind. No problem for Lydia. <laughs> I'd say that is, you pay a lot of money to be able to have that shot in your arsenal. Not easy. Ten feet would be a great shot, and that's going to be past the hole. It almost feels like a must birdie for me right now, though, Jerry, for Hannah. I know it's a hard shot here. And that's going to wander on by maybe about 10 feet, just like you called it. But this is actually view high over at seven. Second shot from the fairway. She was a, a phenom, too, coming out of South Africa. I mean, she was um, who everybody was expecting at a very young age to come out, burst onto the scene. Here's Emma Talley from right about 20 feet over at seven for a birdie. Just outside the right edge and pours it right in the center. So a nice birdie there for Emma. I mean, this is all the par four you want, isn't it? And a beauty from Buhai. Yeah, this is from 116 yards after a gorgeous drive. She ought to be able to go at the flag stick. Yep. Okay. Got herself about 12 feet, one she could make. But maybe a chance to get one back after a good tee shot at 10. Oh, yeah. Okay, nearly got two back. If she can get a wedge close here, not easy. Downwind, hole not placed that deep into the green. 120 was the shot. Ah, the mystery of Hannah Green may be solved. <laughs> See if she can get that one in to the front edge anyway, 113 overall to the hole. 102 to the front, nice and high yet again. Very crisp sounding. Okay, a couple of really good shots. 
from Holland Green there. Over this was first. Yeah, pop up just a moment ago for a birdie. She is at plus four or was, now it's plus three. 40 strokes she took on the front side. So look at that, seven, two, five, five, four, five. In tough conditions is a big key to scoring well. Did she save it? Do oh, it. Yes. Wow. I mean, that up and down, even Ernie Els, course designer, would love that one. Back into the wind. Uh, this makes this one a lot easier. Throw this one right at the hole. About like that. Yeah. Great Chella Choi, ninth hole of the day. This for her par. Good Lydia Ko has done it here at 10, second shot. Easier hole location today. It's deeper into the green. This one looks really nice from 111 yards. A moment ago at the 14th, Jenny Coleman's third. Why do you think we're showing Jenny Coleman at five over from off the green? Oh. Has a chance to make the cut. She was one of the sneaky great stories, I think, of 2021. skip and stop there's the skip there's the stop and now Emma Talley with the golf club she joined us after she played in the morning the reviews were boffo for Emma Talley and how about this tee shot she's good whatever a very short hole just 121 yards A bit of an easier hole location. There's a sideboard there just to the right of it. That is a good shot. Well planned, well executed. A little from the right. Again, use that slope to the right of the hole. There's the shot shape I was talking about. There's the slope I was talking mm. about. That was educated, wasn't it, Mark? Really, really was. well done. Wow. This is the 16th. It's Jenny Shen. That will get her to five over. The 35 footer. Yeah. Uphill, little couple little breaks to it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? Yeah. But on the tee, I see him. Yeah, like 4.30. <laughs> oh, just like that, Jerry. Mm-hmm. That sounded like he was going to do that. Stephanie Karaoke is for a birdie at 7. She's hanging in there at minus 1. How about minus 2? Make it count. Okay. Only 10 players of the 72, down to about 70 in the afternoon wave, are under par at all. 